TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment. Subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen, man, because this show can get a little bit interesting. Don't forget, twitch.com is where you can catch any of the live streams and things of that nature. I don't know if I said that already. Usernames at the bottom of the screen, Patreon, five days a week. Anyway, talk to me. This is Bouncer, Season 1, Episode 3. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. It's Saturday night in Warrington and Mr. Smith's is preparing itself for another night of excess. Smiths, this bar is huge. <laughs> Whilst over in Blackpool, Club Sanook is opening its doors to the hordes of weekend warriors. In the past, bouncers of the old school spoke with their fists, but now stricter laws mean violence is out. So the mouth enough, move away. So when it all kicks off, what's best, fighting or talking? Parent pricks. Robin never saved nobody. Why is he? Get, you know. <laughs> Seven pound, folks. Is oh, money ready? Right. At Club Sanook in Blackpool, they're already pulling them in. I love you, man! <laughs> this is Joker, Kev Mill. He's a doorman at Club Sanook, he's 42, and he's been on the doors for 15 years. 42? Why do bouncers look like 10 years older than they actually are? Here's the, the, the talkers and here's the ones that want to be the big macho doorman type, you know, but uh, I've always found it easier to talk to people. It's early doors and Kev is knocking back his annoying namesake. My name's Kev. Hey, What's your name? Kev. My name's Kev. Oh, Kev. Kev. No, Kev. <laughs> Alright, then it isn't. Yeah, yeah. It's Bob. <laughs> What's his name? Oh. What's his name? Steve. Yeah. Oh, you fucking joking. Yeah, I got you though, didn't he? Call him Kev. <laughs> <laughs> All this trick of the book. Kev is having no luck trying to charm his way in tonight. To be fair, you're acting like a bit of a clown now, aren't you? Why don't you go back into town? I'm not done fuck all. No, no, well, go hang around here, mate. Let's go and get a drink Kev, somewhere yeah. else, alright? He, he was just going on, wanting to come in. Um, Sorted off after about 10 or 15 minutes, come back with his uh, sailor's hat on, and uh, which was a good disguise, really. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? I know you put a hat on, but it's hardly the best disguise. <laughs> Fool me for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? Yeah. Oh, it's Kev. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never would have noticed you until you took that hat off. I'm 20 years old. This is Dave Burnett, a door supervisor, 24, been on the doors six years. Age 24? He was in the last episode, wasn't he? I think the best doorman in the world at uh... Bro, this is a 24-year-old? Bro, there's no way I'm doing this job if it's putting years on my life like this. Ain't no way, brother. Bro, look at least 35. They're definitely talkers that can talk people out. You know, they might be the softest guys in the world, but they can talk people out of the situation, and that's the key. Christine. Okay, you go through Christine. on the left, please, guys. Wait, go back. How, how are you 34 with wrinkles right here already? You've been frowning too much. Like, relax a little bit. Let me look at myself. Hold on. Because this is getting critical. Okay, I got this. But this might just be from lack of sleep, but God, that's all I got, no? You know how people get the little pieces of right here? 
I ain't got them yet. I'm bald, but shoot, if that's the that's a fair trade off. <laughs> No old wrinkled stuff yet for being bald. I'll take it. And sort people out of situation, and that's the key. Okay, you go through on the left, please, guys. Okay. But sometimes words just aren't enough. And when a guy's army ID isn't accepted, it's a test for Dave's new school ways. He's in the army. Right, mate. These fucks don't accept what I'm fucking doing. And you saw straight away the aggressive approach they gave us. Which proves we've done our job right because once those guys get in there, they're not going to suddenly be nice guys in there, are they? Before the police come and take them away. Your choice. Okay, no problem. I'm in a fucking parachute regiment, right? I'm fucking 19 years of age and they're fucking me off. I can even see he wasn't happy with us. Bro, go home. Go home, Roger. Um, but, yeah, like you said, it's part of the job, isn't it? I've served for this fucking country and you fuck me off. Fuck off. The bouncers of old you probably ain't even been a war yet. You just got out of basic training. Salute though for for what you're about to bring to the table. But like, come on, man. Live for this kind of kickoff, and frankly, they think the new guys are just not up to the job. You could be 18 years old, have never had a fight in your life, never had a confrontation, know nothing about door work. Do a course, and you're a doorman. Uh, the students, I'm a bouncer, I'm a bouncer. We couldn't bounce a ball, most of them. He can do all the moves, he can have all the training, but he wouldn't do with some of the situations we're faced with. And the top of the shade, that's his biggest piece. In Warrington, a silver fox is dusting off his party clobber. Looking good. A few lines at bingo's not enough for the oldest swinger in town. This is 78-year-old Stan Smith. Oh my gosh. A living legend. Every weekend, Stan the man's out hitting the pubs and clubs. Oh my gosh. Stan, I don't blame you. You get you a little blue chew, a little Viagra, a little, you know what I'm saying? A little something to get right. Hey, stand up. Get out there on business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's been around the block a few times as Stan, but there's life in the old Come dog on. yet. <laughs> He's got a yeah, yeah. an eye for the lady. He's not talking about my boy. Let's talk talk to him, Stan. <laughs> Even for the older woman. You get your pictures. She's 88. I'm only 78, and she's doing very well. Don't tell it. I'm 88 and still going strong. <laughs> You're looking beautiful, Stan. If Stan was on Tinder, because he's real life Tinder in it right now. His age range, you know how you can pick your age range on Tinder? Bro going from 19 all the way to 88. He playing the field, ain't he? That's tough. Beautiful lady, me, darling. You're looking beautiful. I wasn't I, bad looking about 40 years ago. Well, I can't check it over because I've got a headache. Yeah. But I've got to go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. One, two, three, four, four o'clock rock, five, six, seven, eight o'clock rock. I'm going to rock around the clock tonight, man. As Stan heads off to Mr. Smith's, bouncers from the old days knew that what counted most was being a good scrapper. The old school were guys that could have a good fight, would go on the door, and nobody would fuck with them. I would never, ever take any back chat or shit off anybody. Nine times out of ten, they were all ugly bleeders like me. Today's bouncers have had to clean up their acts, and they're all vetted by the guy. Man, it's... Uh, bouncers, they got a tough job, especially in cities like Chicago. Like, I, I didn't... Like, two bouncers got unalived for just doing their job that I can think of. And they used to get in numerous fights and lose. You know what I'm saying? Because it's rough out there. Government to weed out the thugs. Firm but fair is the new creed. This is elder statesman Keith Shaw. 
He's head doorman at Mr. Smith's. He's 38 years old and he stood on the doors for 21 years. People go out and do it. Oh my God. Do I just look younger than them? I am younger than him, but at the same time, I'm not that much. But God, Lee. Uh, I can't go. See, this is why I start hitting the gym. Plus, like, they'll, they'll wait add age to you. Watch when I get to the, my goal weight. And y'all see it. I'm be like, I told y'all. <laughs> Bro said 38. What? Boy, boy, both his chins is, is... They both look... It's the gold tee. I don't... It's, it's a lot. It's just a lot. This is sad. They, they do drink too much. A lot of them. I know they'll come in the club and they're just staggering everywhere. It's 11 p.m. The pubs have kicked out and the folk arriving at Smith's are all in high spirits. Smith's is the best! Woo! 38? They're all in high spirits. Maybe it's age, maybe I'm maybe getting old, but I think the crackers. All right, lads. Fucking brilliant, Leah. Have it, have it. You gotta have it. Have it. And Tracy here is a prime example. <laughs> Tracy, is that a wig? Girls these days seem to to go out to get drunk to go over the top. But women are not far behind men. I think they're catching men up very, very quickly. Oh dear. Never mind, love. Messed up your own good time. Yes, darling. Here we go, right. Apparently she's got no knickers on. What about these? You liar. Uh, you've got no, you've got knickers on. You've got Bridget Jones knickers. Look at that. You should have a lacy thong on. You should have a lacy thong like Kevin. Oh, this is my move. Hey, I salute that type of behavior. Not you grabbed her underwear and popped them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's the place on? Back in Blackpool, Dave and Kev are called inside to deal with Kev the Pest, who sneaked in through the side door. That's the lead, mate. Okay, we've told you. Oh, Get in here through the side door. How do you know? Ready, mate. You're not coming in, okay? There's nobody even in there. Everyone loves a trier, but it's game over for this persistent young pup. I might be a little bit drunk, but I tried to get in, yeah? And just because I started fighting last week, yeah? They wouldn't let me in. Kev tries his luck at the side door again. Oh, you can't get to me. The ship's left. <laughs> well, you're the captain, mate. You missed the ball. Sorry. Crash and burn. Kev, just go home. Why? Ain't, there's not. They're in Blackpool. This is the only spot, right? I'm just wondering, like, how you just sort of dealt with that sort of situation in the seventies. You know, when you had started the door and that. Probably give him a clip round the ear and said, "Don't ever come back in it." Yeah, you're drinking Lucasade, <laughs> getting ready. <laughs> And don't make us look at twat again. But would you have slipped your number in his pocket like you did then? Oh, as well? yeah, yeah. yeah. Told him to come round with his sailors out yeah. and just that. Can have it back now. <laughs> Will you wear it for me? <laughs> hey, you walk back to me, please. <laughs> well, let's go to Smith's, man. Back in Warrington, it's approaching midnight and Stan has Smith's in his sights. The manager and the drummer okay. agree. Stan, go home. Because they look after the place and they look after the stand the man. Hey! He's a character, isn't he? All the girls are all over him, the lads are all over him, and he's like a cult figure, I suppose, if you like. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, I've got the idea. Yeah, I'm over something. Just a bit. Imagine them ID and stand. Tuesday night to the club. Wednesday. 
My time's getting on and Tracy is still trying her charm offensive. Hey, this way. I'm not saying it's a six level. Coming up, there's an old fashioned ruck. Yeah, you gotta get out of here, man. She came back? I just seen her. It's gone midnight at Mr. Smith's in Warrington and the place is jumping. And legendary old raver Stan the Man shows no signs of flagging. <laughs> Outside Smith's, manager Les is still having to deal with Tracy, who won't take no for an answer. Tracy needs to link up with Kev. <laughs> but they're not keeping all the drunks outside. Here's one that slipped through the net. <laughs> and just when he thinks it couldn't get any worse. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy is the worst. Stacy, you put yourself in this situation. So Tracy's a real oh, Florence Tracy. Nightingale. So for those lucky enough to make it inside, though, the party is in full swing. It's jumping now. I ain't gonna hold it. Suddenly, the atmosphere sours and the dance floor erupts into violence. The old fashioned doorman would have loved a scrap like this, but Keith doesn't believe in meeting violence with violence. I don't think there's any use for it. Ah. Okay, I get it. Not at work. But if you come at me with the violence, it's, it's. What else am I supposed to. You know what I'm saying? People to go over the top. Uh, you need to use minimal force to do what you have to do. And once. Once they're no longer a threat, then that's enough. Outside, the argument has spilled out onto the street. It looks like we could be in for round two, so Keith calls for the cops. They're just behind the phone box, we've got a group of lads and girls. Uh, they're all fighting. There's the police there now. Police have just got out. But as the police arrive, Keith's in for a surprise. He discovers it's his doorman that are under investigation. It's a situation that would not have gone down well with the old guard. 25, 30 years ago, you had a fight with someone. If it, if it come to that, there'd be no such thing as them going to the police and uh, this doorman's hit me and then this and that. You weren't fr afraid to go out the back and have a fight with someone, whereas now everywhere's camera up, you can't, it, it's hard way. Now, if you push a customer, or just look at them wrong, you know, you do, it's common assault. People are so much more switched on to the law and what they can do and what they can get away with. It's, it's, the, it's the, the mad side of political correctness. It's 1am and over at Sanook, Dave is dealing with the usual monkey business. I feel like I'm one of these tenders. Can I be Grant Mitchell? <laughs> Come inside, door. Imagine being this drunk, bro. Like, and, like... And like seeing this on TV eventually, like, oh my God, did I? <laughs> yeah, no problem, I'll look out for him. But there's trouble on the horizon. 
guys have been put out down there. Another test for Dave's non-violent methods. Body language is, is the key now to, to sort of diffusing situations. What's this? Calm down. Why is this blood? Why is this blood? I believe, I believe you've been fighting inside with another oh, individual, OK? You so believe I've been fighting This is what inside. I've been told, OK? You believe I've been fighting inside. This is what I've been told, all right? So you don't believe I've had my head smashed against every fucking wall right, on the way out. I'll tell you what, let's calm down first. I'll talk to you when you calm down first, OK? He's pulled the, the textbook answer of the doorman did me over in the fire exit, um, which we know it, it doesn't go on. Well, what was going on was I was dragged down the stairs, smashed on the way down the stairs, you dragged down the nice dark corridor, you smashed fuck out of, you kicked, you beat him, you smashed in the face, you kicked him. I believe him. I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say I believe this dude. Yeah, and that's it. That's all there is to it. The guy had a little scratch on the top of his head. If, if eight doormen had done him over in a fire exit, I don't think he'd have a little scratch in his head, really. It seems some are still to be convinced of the new breed's softly, softly approach. They weren't a gentle escort. You know how what doormen are supposed to be. They weren't at all. They kicked the fuck out of me down the stairs. It was ruthless. It was fucking... It was just ruthless. New licenses are all well and good, but one thing the old guard value above all else is experience. The best doormen are the guys who are not doing the job for their own egos. Yeah, they're doing it because they feel they've got the qualities to do it. I ain't seen dude doorman nothing yet, so what job. are you talking about? It? No matter what the doorman's training does, it doesn't teach you how to do the job. It teaches you the aspects of what might happen on the job. It's only experience. What, what counts? You must have a dorm who stood on the door, who knows the ropes, and you can judge within a 10 or 15 second as they're walking towards them. This guy's coming in. This guy's not. Back at Smith's, Keith is having to rely on his experience to deal with a punter furious at being thrown out. What the fuck's that? Get the fuck off! Get the camera away! Nice, but respect these days is hard to find. When I first started the doors, there was certain doormen in Liverpool, uh, very, very well known, and you would not cross them. The mere name of them, you would not cross them. Big bounces, aren't you? Me, no. Big bounces. Uh, big bounces. <laughs> the new generation coming through. I've he looks like 45. Go home. <laughs> no fear. Let's see how fast you run. Let's see how. New generation? He's. Okay. How fast is all running half an hour, you know, pricks? Fucking divvies. That'll be the famous Scouse wit then. If we throw people out, the number of people who will goad us into trying to hit them and assault them, they all know what they're doing. Big bad men, are you? Are you? Big hard knocks. Yeah, we have bounces. Yeah, big hard bastards, are you? <laughs> why? I'll show you why. Just tell us yeah or no. We're just fucking sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? Have you got a bulletproof on? Who? You. I, I can do anything I want. Threats like this are par for the course as far as Keith is concerned. Broke that and firearms and all type of stuff. He really out here. He really that man? He's a he's a shot. Yeah. Something about his wearing bulletproof vests. So he's just ignored it. Just ignored it. Heard it all before. <laughs> <laughs> Back inside and Smith's is still partying hard. <laughs> Getting on and Stan decides it's nearly time to head home for a nice Stan be drinking too? Cup of cocoa. Over in Blackpool it's turfing out time at Sanook. And as usual, the holiday makers are doing their bit for the local tourist board. You are an emotional wreck, you don't know who you are. You never see what you need. I'm sorry, what? Send me the lot, all in. It's all just lost my bag. You don't need to worry about it. Bounces. Cheese fridge. So, whilst times may change, the one thing that stays the same is the punters. And they're still as bonkers as ever. Leaving the madness outside, Dave shuts up shop for another night. 
some of them must have been on a uh, like a stag. That's what y'all call it. The last dance has finished at Mr. Smith's, and it's time to head out into the night. A night on the lash has taken its toll on some revelers. And into this madness steps Stan with just enough time to show his appreciation for Dorman Keith. The Dorman of years ago were different. The Dorman of today are intelligent. They're not. They're not bullies. They know the score, and they, uh, I wouldn't like to look after these 800 kids out here. No way. But these guys do a good job. And any problems, they're, they're there, man. They grab them. <laughs> I was man. No problem. No problem. Whatever. This dude is down bad. This is this is the epitome of overly overdoing it. You're outside, legs crossed, hands in hand, head in hands. Like go home. What's the go home? Thanks, Stan. No, you're late to start. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye. Fucking that some fucker out. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. 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 Next time on Bouncers, Blank. Ah, 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 ah. That's the end. Tell a little like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.